students in my today's lecture i will talk about three topics i'm going to explain you about the manometer basically manometer is a device which is used for measuring your pressure i'm going to talk about a bernoulli's principle and i'm going to explain you about boyle's law which is a pressure boyle law so three topics i'm going to cover in my today's lecture so first let's start with the manometer what is a manometer so it is an instrument which used for measuring the pressure of a fluid there are many other uh, instruments are present but this is also one of the instrument by which you can measure a fluid pressure so it is an instrument used for measuring a fluid pressure so let's talk how the manometer works manometer is a u shaped tube filled with a thick liquid dense liquid so in this manometer you can find a dense liquid so liquid is filled this dense liquid is a mercury i'm using mercury inside to explain you so this is the mercury i hope you all know what is the symbol of mercury the symbol of mercury is h this end is open from here this end is also open from here so these both the ends are open it means both the places you have an atmospheric pressure so this is your p at atmospheric pressure as the pressure at both the ends is same that's why you can't see a difference in this mercury level this part this part the left side one is known as a left limb this right side one is known as a right limb this part is known as a atom and here you have a atmospheric pressure so in this case if this is the end a this is the end b you can say the pressure at point a is equal to pressure at point b so here both the places pressure is same i hope you all know how to calculate atmospheric pressure in the last lecture we talked about pressure is equal to rho gh where rho is a density of a liquid g is a gravity h is the height so from this if you are using a barometer by using barometer you can get the value of atmospheric pressure which is 10 to the power 5 pascal but today i am i am not going to cover a barometer today my lecture will talk about the manometer so there's a case let's say case number 1 when gas pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure so if gas pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure then how we can measure a pressure of a gas so there's one container filled with the gas and we have a u shaped manometer connected to this this part is open to surrounding it means open to atmosphere so at this place we have a atmospheric pressure inside the gas molecules are present so inside we have a gas pressure and in this tube mercury is filled so here the mercury is filled now you can see one thing here this part is going down from here the mercury is going down and from here the mercury is rising down so you can get some high difference edge this edge will help you to 
calculate a gas pressure. So I'm taking one point A here, at this place I'm taking one point B here, and at this place I'm taking a point C. So whatever is the pressure at point A, that is equal to pressure at point B. And pressure at point A is actually a gas pressure. It is the pressure of the gas, which making this mercury to go down. So from here it's going down. From here mercury is rising up. So this is the gas pressure. So how much is pressure at point B? At point B, there are two pressures. One is atmospheric pressure, and plus one pressure due to the depth. It means at point B, the pressure due to the depth and the atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure and plus pressure due to depth. And this P is actually a gas pressure. So the gas pressure is calculated as well. atmospheric pressure plus rho g. So with this formula, in this case, you can calculate a gas pressure. In second case, let's say when the gas pressure is less than atmospheric pressure, then what would be the condition? So case two, when gas pressure is less than atmospheric pressure again i am taking one container filled with the gas connected to a manometer like this this part is open to surrounding so we have atmospheric pressure inside we have a gas molecule that's why we have a gas pressure and from here the mercury is rising up from here mercury is going down and you know very well why it's happening actually the gas pressure is less so obviously the atmospheric pressure will dominate the mercury so from here it will go down from that side it will rise up so from here the mercury is going down from this end it's rising up and this is the mercury So from here you can see the five points. This is the H. H. So I'm taking the point A here. I'm taking one point B here. I'm taking one point C. Now in this case, in this case we have P A is equal to P, but here we have P B is equal to P C because A is somewhere here. So in this condition, the pressure at point B. Is equal to pressure at point C, and the pressure at point C is actually a atmospheric pressure. So this is the atmospheric pressure. But how much is the pressure at point B? Again, same thing. Like like this. Pressure at point B was atmospheric pressure plus rho g h. But here, the pressure is coming through the gas, and plus. Due to this height, so here I have to write a gas pressure plus the pressure due to the height, which is rho g h. So from here uh, I have to extend one more step. The P B is basically an atmospheric pressure, so I can write P B atmospheric is equals to gas pressure. Plus rho g h. So in this case, the gas pressure will be. You have to take this to the left side. P atmospheric subtracted by rho g h. So like this, you can calculate a gas pressure when uh, atmospheric pressure is greater than the gas pressure. So keep these two things in your mind. That one. If the gas pressure is greater than atmospheric, then for solving the numericals, you have to deal with this formula. 
where gas pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus OGH. If there is a condition atmospheric pressure is greater, then you have to use a formula. Gas pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure minus rho GH. If there is a both the ends are open to the same side or same gas pressure or they are open to the surrounding, in that case there will be no high difference because pressure at both the points are same. So here the P A is equal to P. I already told you what value of what value of P atmosphere you have to take. If you have to take a 10 to the power 5 pascal, that value you can use here. Now I am giving you a small example how uh, we can calculate a pressure of a liquid practically by using a manometer. In my next example, I am not going to take a gas, I am going to take a liquid. So I am going to measure a pressure of a liquid by using a manometer. So let's talk about that. Students, just see in this diagram. In this picture, there is a fluid. This is the fluid or this is the liquid. I am interested in measuring a pressure of this particular liquid. So for this, I have a YouTube manometer with me. This YouTube manometer is filled with the water. And I have one liquid. So I have to measure the pressure of this particular liquid. So what I will do, I have one funnel, which is connected to the one end of the manometer. And my other end is open to the surrounding. Right now, I am not sure actually, which pressure is more. Is liquid pressure is more or atmospheric pressure is more. That I will figure out after looking into where this water is moving. So you see this picture and tell me once I will put this pump inside then you see this picture and tell me which pressure is more. Is the liquid pressure is more or the atmospheric pressure is more. So when I am putting this funnel inside which is coated with the rubber Initially, within a microsecond, both the levels are the same. But gradually, you can see the difference in the liquid levels. You can see the difference in levels. Can you figure out which pressure is more? Is the liquid pressure is more or the atmospheric pressure is more? Yes, in this case, the liquid pressure is more. That's why this water is going down and from here that water is rising up. After some time, you can see these both the levels are now balanced or they attend an equilibrium. So at that time, you measure this particular height, H, and then use a formula. As you know, in this case, the pressure of the gas or the liquid in this case it's a liquid is greater than the atmospheric pressure that's why you will use a formula the pressure of the liquid is equal to atmospheric pressure plus rho g h so like this we can calculate a pressure of this particular liquid so atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power 5 density of the water is 1000 kg per meter cube g that you can use 10 but standard value is 9.81 meter per second square and height you can see from this meter scale so like this you can calculate a pressure of this particular liquid right next i am coming to my next topic i am going to talk about a bernoulli's principle actually the next topic will is more it's more interesting it will excite you because we are going to talk about how the lifting of aircraft is taking place. We all saw that how the aircraft lifts up, but what is the principle behind that? We'll talk about those things in Bernoulli's principle.